Hey everybody, welcome back. One day I'll get that Home Depot box out of the shot. <laughs> um, hope everybody is finding themselves well. Uh, let's talk some movies, right? First movie I'm going to talk about today is a brand new movie. It's called Bloodshot. It was actually in theaters March 13th, 2020, and it was the last film to get released in theaters before this pandemic shut everything down. Um, right after it was pulled from theaters, the studio put it available on streaming services, so maybe you've seen it around, but it recently hit DVD and Blu-ray last week. And I'm going to discuss it because I just watched it, and I really loved it. I was really impressed with this. Um, the film stars Vin Diesel and Guy Pearce. It's an action sci-fi, um, feels a little futuristic due to the technology. And I would compare it to something like Robocop, but just way updated. Um, the film follows Vin Diesel's character, who is a soldier of war, and he gets killed in battle, only to be resurrected by this crazy company run by Guy Pearce, and he becomes all superhuman, and, um... He sent out on missions and so forth. Um, what I really liked about this was obviously the action. I thought it was really well done. I'm normally not a fan of a lot of slow-mo action shots. I feel like that's been done to death, but it actually works pretty well here. And I think it's due to the fact that the filmmakers know what they're doing when it comes to editing and uh, sound design, and it just looks cool. It didn't play cheesy. This isn't normally something I would watch because I'm not the biggest comic book fan, but it was, you know, it surprised me. I was totally on board. I actually really liked the characters in the film, and that's hard to do in these kinds of action movies. You don't always get absorbed into the characters. You're more focused on, like, the action and the explosions, um, but the story here is pretty solid. I like the direction the film took. Um, it kept me on the edge of my seat. I, you know, didn't check my phone too many times, uh, and that's become a nasty habit. But uh, Bloodshot is available on streaming services. Anyway, next up, <laughs> I'm going to throw it back with a nice little retro review here. I'm going to talk about one of my all-time favorite comedies. Couldn't be more different than Bloodshot. Uh, it's called Rat Race. Uh, it's from 2001. This film is hysterical. It's directed by Jerry Zucker, and the film has a huge cast. Uh, it stars Brecken Meyer, Amy Smart, Whoopi Goldberg, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. is in it, um, just, just John Lovitz, uh, Rowan Atkinson, Mr. Bean. The film, to me, is a loose remake of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. And it follows a cast of characters who are, you know, on a rat race. <laughs> they are gathered together by John Cleese's character, and he offers them all uh, a key to a locker, like in the next state or whatever, to go and uh, unlock a million dollars in this locker, in this train station. Whoever gets there first gets to keep the money. So um, this was so funny. Um, what I really liked about it was uh it was just every character was so diverse i mean you follow each character's journey so whether you're following whoopi goldberg and her daughter or you're following john lovitz and his hysterical crack me up family um they you're just you're laughing and i found every character funny and i like movies when we follow different little um characters you know, their little, like, stories that are happening all at the same time. Um, it's a good way to stay involved in the film. And my favorite character in this movie was John Lovitz and his family. I Every scene they were on, I was cracking up. Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character was hysterical in this. I really liked, um, you know, that he had this subplot going on in the background that follows him throughout the journey of the film. Um, it's goofy, it's silly, it's, you know, some of it is, uh, slapstick, some of it feels like maybe Looney Tunes or whatever, but, um, I mean, it's uplifting in the end, it's something to laugh at, we can all, you know, use some more humor these days, so, um, film is also available for streaming, and I highly recommend them. So, you got two movies there, I strongly suggest you watch them, and, um, yeah, that's it, so thanks guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully I'll be seeing you soon. Uh, <laughs> take care.